Hey guys, it's Spacey Sins, and we are back with more Charade Minions in EO2's route now. Full on. Because after I saved last time, when I went in, it's like, it saved and it's like Yochi route. We know that, though, because we saw the transition screen. So, like, full-on accidental in here. And it's weird because, again, I the only thing I can figure is that one choice. And that's a little bizarre to me, but, I mean, I guess, whatever it is, what it is. So, anyway, uh... It was going to be Iochi or Ibana, to be fair. We were trying to get Ibana, and the only choice that seems to have made a difference, um, like, we got Haiji in that scene, so, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I guess maybe if you choose the wrong route in the very beginning before anything's unlocked, it just throws you down whoever. Maybe just, like, a random fucking choi like chance. Because, like, everything else we did after that, we got we saw both of them in every other option, so... I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It is what it is. So, hey. Surprise! At least we got a character that I like the first route, which was bound to happen since I picked the cooking team and the only two characters that we could probably get are my favorites. Two of my favorites, so, you know. Anyway. Yochi and I were in the living room, reviewing what had happened earlier in order to finish our first day together. Oh, is it tough to keep up with me? If you have other things to do, you can prioritize those. What do I possibly have to fucking do here? It's no problem. Besides cooking duties, I don't have anything else important to do. It's more important right now for me to be able to help you. I don't mind me. I asked you to do this as a favor. A good work today. I hope you rest up. I stood up to leave, but stopped when I noticed Iochi hadn't budged. Iochi, you're not going to sleep? Oh, I'm going to check out the past episodes one more time. And there was a drama that I was interested in. It's got like a weird, like, you know, like when you get like a weird itch in your ear canal and it's like. Uh, I just got that. And it's so freaking annoying because it's not my ear, but it's like in that spot where it's like in between your ear and your throat. Oh! Oh, God. Anyway. Then I'll check it with you. I'm your assistant, after all. <laughs> and then let's watch it together. I'm sure it can be used for reference. A romance drama? Yochi started up their bangle and then started playing the past episodes in order. This one is a suspense drama. I was hoping it was a romance one. I was like, oh, it's going to get awkward. The content was violent. The cast members were hurting each other. There were also a few punishment games on screen. The cruelness of it all appeared to show that this was the was what the other world stream was supposed to be like. The story of the drama entered its climax, and one of the cast members refused to act. That put his points into the negative, and he was given a dead end. And see, it's funny because the first thing we noticed was like, oh, we have to push Haiji out a window, and that was difficult. But then it's like, you do get more violent, and you end up here. You know what I mean? I wish they leaned into that a little more. And maybe they do in, like, some of the later kind of routes and whatnot. And, like, more of the secret ones and whatnot. But they kind of, it's like, they have these stakes here. Like, oh my god, the punishment. Game. Okay, we lost our voice and that does suck. But then we didn't really, they didn't delve into that more. With, like, oh my god, it's going to be so hard and I have to act in a drama and then I can't. And then my points are going, like, I only get one or two points. And then, oh no, you know what I mean? Like, where there, where it's like, oh... And knowing there's not really any bad ends, it kind of ruins the stakes of it. It's kind of like they wanted to have this dramatic kind of game. But they did it in a light, fluffy kind of way, if that makes sense. Like, I don't think this is like, oh, it's a light, fluffy, fun game. But it's like, it doesn't hit like I feel like it's supposed to. I feel like it's supposed to be really dramatic and a little scary and a little more Danganronpa-esque. But there's no stakes here. I don't feel like, oh my god, okay, yeah, we had the punishment game, okay, we had to know what was going to happen there, and we've seen these, and they have the dramatic music, but it's like, I don't feel the drama here. And it's not because, well, I've played so many games, I'm not, like, worried about it, but it's not like any character, okay, we're in Yochi's route, but some other character dies or some shit, and, like, you know what I mean? Like, I highly doubt that's going to happen. I'd be shocked if it does, honestly, but you know what I mean? We're the only one who's ever gotten low points. 
we're the only one who's gotten negative and they keep talking about these dead ends, but nothing's happening. There's actually no stakes involved. And like, or this, oh my God, they have to do all these horrible things to each other. And the worst thing we had to do is push Hygie out a window. And like, sure, at the time you're like, okay. But again, they didn't set it up properly. If they set it up properly, like, oh yeah. And by the way, like this is going to happen. Like, I feel like it should have been set up sooner and then they should have delved into it a little bit more to give you more drama. Like this is like, it's trying to be a drama, but you don't feel it. It's like a scary movie. Like, Oh my God, it's a terrible, it's a scary movie. And you're going, you're like, this is, this is just bad. I'm not, I'm not intimidated or scared at all here. Like, and I don't know if they really wanted you. I mean, I feel like with the music and everything in the plot, there's some, you're supposed to feel the drama, but you don't, really you know i don't know like i just i'm not feeling the tension at all here like I, there's no stakes nobody actually there's there's no bad endings it's not like oh god a choice i make is gonna cause one i mean and i feel like in this game if they gave you like choices like push hygiene out a window don't you kind of know what's gonna happen but like you know but at least there's stakes oh i didn't and now i'm dead okay <laughs> you know what i mean but like there's no bad ends, so there's really no stakes involved, and nobody but us has been punished. They don't really go into the dramas too, too much, and it's so it's kind of an afterthought. Like, I know it's supposed to be the, that's not the main, it's part of the main plot, but I they just don't spend enough time with it that it feels like there's anything at stake here, and it's like, yeah, okay, sure, there, and this, if we had seen some of the dramas when we first got here, and we saw this, and oh my god, they have to fight each other, and then wait, whoa, 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 what do you mean a punishment game? And then all of that, they put it in sooner than maybe the tension might have been there. But they try to mix in these little moments like this, where it's like, oh my god, they had to fight each other, and someone died, and all of this. Yeah, but like 90% of the game is like, okay, having cooking fun time, and going to talk to these people, and right now with Iochi, the last part was the only time we actually got a little bit more in-depth, like, 90% of this is, like, fluffy fun time. Like, it, you know what I mean? Like, you're trying to have, like, okay, we want to character build and you want to get to know these people so you're building trust with them. You know, you don't want everyone to be sus because, you know, you, you got to like the love interests, obviously. It's not the same as, like, a dang and romp game where you're like, I don't have to trust any of these motherfuckers. You know what I mean? You have to have some kind of trust here to get you interested in the love interests. You know what I mean? But they don't balance it well enough with like the drama and everything. It's like, yeah, there's okay. But the drama almost takes a backseat to the fluffy get to know you times. So like, I don't know. I'm not saying I'm not enjoying the game. I think we're having fun with it, but it could have been done better. And I think what they were trying to go for, they completely fucking missed. Like you're aiming at a whole other, what you were hitting is a whole other board than where you were trying to go. Like, you're not even in the same fucking book. Like, you're trying to be dramatic and everything, and but they, it's just, okay, like, this should be dramatic, but you stop and think and you go, yeah, I mean, but there's no stakes involved, so I'm not really concerned about this. And like, oh, you're watching a scary drama. And like, yes, this should evoke more like, ooh, than it does, really. You know? Or, I mean, even if you get it, you're like, oh, okay, yeah, so there's some drama here. They're just going to forget about it in five minutes and it's going to be gone. So it's like... I mean, I just I just don't think they did a good balance. I don't think they did what they were aiming to do. Like a car going by that like just came out of nowhere into the music and I was like, what the hell? I'm like, no, it's a car. That was just that loud. Jesus. Anyway, they put his points into the negative and he was given a dead end. Ugh. Despite the cries and pleas, the director's ruthless announcement was made and the cast member vanished. And the thing is that they just vanished. So, like, it would give more tension if you saw that, like, something horrible happening. Like, you know what I mean? And again, put this in earlier instead of at the end where it's like, yeah, but I don't, I don't know if this is going to happen now. Like, And if you killed a character now when we're in a route, it doesn't have the same stakes anymore. Like, yeah, I, you know. They tried but they failed with the super tension building. But the plot's at least interesting where you're like, what is really going on? And like aliens or like we're on the moon. Like what's really happening? Like, you know what I mean? I, I think they shot their load really early by making it pretty fairly easy to figure out 
super sus characters a little bit sooner than I think they intended to, but maybe they intended you to be able to figure it out that fast. I don't know, but it seems pretty obvious. Like the little secrets that everyone's individually hiding, like what's going on with Abana's arm. Okay. We're going to figure that out when we go down his route, you know, what is the deal with Dazai? Cause that's, he seems pretty normal, but also staring at Haiji like that. It seems like he knows something. And then there could be people who were here before, and, like, was Abana really one of those people, you know? Like, so there's little things like that, like, little mysteries. But, like, the big main mystery. Figured that out pretty fucking early. You know what I mean? Like, they, they and they, they pretty much handed that to you at one point. If you couldn't figure it out and you were like, I don't know what's going on. Like, Yobu handed that fucking to you. And, like, and I don't know if they threw that in so people would be like, oh, yeah, obviously bullshit. And, like make you think that because he said it, that wasn't the truth. But I'm like, no, nah, I full on think that they threw that in there just to see what would happen and be like, you know, there's going to be people that are like, well, just because Kyobu said it, it's obviously fake. And it's like, no, nah, no, nah, I was already on the sus train and you just spelled it out here. So I don't exactly know the level of suspicion and what's really going on, but I'm pretty fucking sure at this point, especially when it comes to there's a locked route. And I mean, maybe that was spoilery of me to know that, that there is a locked route in each grouping. I do, there's good and bad things about that. I think it's good to know that because if we went through and we accidentally the next time around got Hygie's route, that's going to ruin a lot. Like I said before, when we started this, it's going to ruin a lot to hit one of those locked characters the second time around. Like what if we went to the cooking team again and we did Hygie? We could ruin the whole fucking game. Second route in. That would suck. You know what I mean? So it's nice to know, okay, there's locked ones. Okay. And then try to hold them off. But knowing when you know there's at least one locked character, it's pretty easy to kind of suss out who it is based on what you know when you see the groupings. Because it the groupings happen later on. If you kind of split up the teams in the very beginning, you wouldn't really know. You're like, everyone's fucking sus. Everyone was sus as fuck in the beginning. But as you go on and you're like, eh, you know, you're a little more sus. Well, wait, 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 wait. And then all of a sudden it's like, let's put the teams up and now let's do this. And you're like, okay, well, it's pretty easy at that point. The most sus people, one of the most sus people is in each group. You know what I mean? So like, I think that kind of ruins it. Again, I think it's an interesting premise and we're having fun with it. I'm not like upset about it at all, but I definitely think what they were trying to go for here. Oh, this mystery and oh, this drama and all that. It's like, you're, you totally missed the mark on that because like you didn't pace it properly and now the tension's here at the end it's like well we're in Yochi's route and I don't know how much longer it is we could have another 10 hours in his route for all I know the way I'm talking it's going to be 10 hours but you know what I mean it could be another two parts it could be another 10 parts but at this point having this drama is like well it's a little too late for that and I, I get the benefit of like you know, making sure that you bond with the love interest, but they could have, I guess, moved everything up a little, put a little more tension in the beginning about the drama and the fighting and like everything, because you think, oh, we just have to act out dramas and oh, the most they kissed me. Okay. That's a little much. And then, but the punishment game happened too late in where it's like, well, I don't feel the stakes for that. Or if it happened earlier, you'd feel more stakes. If you saw the way they have to fight each other, sometimes and get really violent and everything that would have been a little more tense and like focus a little more on the fact that like like we know people died but there was still no tension around that you know push it up further get your groupings like your organization how you're going to organize the characters and the groups sooner so that yeah you're not really maybe you don't get to know the other characters but you know you are three so you're trusting this little group and maybe you don't trust the other characters, but it would build more, maybe more suspicion around the characters. Then we got to know everybody and you picked out who was sus. And then they divvied up the groups and you're like, well, now I know already. And then, they, you know what I mean? Like it, the pacing is off. They just, you know, it's it just the pacing's off. And so I just don't feel the tension I think that I'm supposed to feel. And maybe they turn it around at the end and all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, people start dying now that we're in Yochi's route. And he's the only one we know is going to live. And like, okay, but like, but I don't think that's the payoff. People are going to die. And you're like, okay, well, if they had this done sooner, I might've felt a little more stressed about it, but like, whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
I still like it and I'm still interested in the plot and we're still having fun. I just think that what they were going for, they completely missed the mark and they just did, there's pacing problems, things should have been done differently and it might have had a little more tension and drama like I think they intended it to have. But right now it just feels like we're trying to sprinkle drama in a comedy and like never really, and honestly, when you watch like a TV show and it's like a comedy show, they sprinkle some drama in, they still manage to hit that better than this is hitting. You know, there's no drama. There's no real tension here. There's a mystery and I'm into it, but I just think what you were going for, it could have been 10 times better. But that said though, I am having fun and I'm not knocking this game. Like this is the worst game ever. Why did they do? But I, I just think they could have done it better. And you know, when it could have just been a little more full of tension and like, Ooh, you know, and it's like, yeah, it's fun, but it's not the, Ooh, you know, I mean, we have moments, but yeah, overall solid so far, but we'll see. We'll see what happens when the mystery comes out. Are they going to ruin it? And it'd be like, this is the dumbest plot ever now. <laughs> I liked it better when we didn't know. <laughs> I liked my theories better than your actual answers or are the answer is really going to be like, Oh, it makes it better. Payoffs at the end. I don't know. But anyway, it's terrible. Is it though? Cause like, I don't, I don't feel the tension here for this. I whispered that out loud, and I noticed that my hands were shaking, and I diverted my eyes. Are you okay? You want me to stop the video? I also think it would have done better for us to be a little bit older and not as young, especially when we have 24-year-old love interest and we're 16 and it seems a little weird. But again, that's a personal problem. I'm fine. But how could they do something so terrible? Like, I forget our age and his age and the difference, but they're going to bring it up again and... Well, oh, and this is the last episode, and the credits are rolling. Yochi, aren't you scared? No, because Yochi knows there's no tension in this game. I'm scared. But to me, it's more like... Yochi was looking at me, glanced at the screen before quickly turning it off. And did you hear that? Huh? Oh, I was getting hungry, so my stomach growled. Really? I didn't hear anything. And this is embarrassing. I'm craving a midnight snack. I think I had an assistant who doubled as a great cook. Yochi kept glancing at me, so I giggled a little and stood up. <laughs> it's cute. All right, I'm not that good, but I'll make you a midnight snack that's easy to, di easy to digest. You're quite modest. And to me, you're the best chef there is. You're considerate and skilled. I didn't feel bad being complimented that way. I went to the kitchen wondering what to make, and I turned around because something bothered me. Um, oh, should I make it with you? You can direct me to do what you need. It's not that. It'll be quick, so please have a seat. I couldn't say it, so I went back to the kitchen. It seemed like Yochi suddenly turned off the video and changed the subject. Is that just my imagination? Interesting. There was some cream soup left over from dinner, so I poured it over some tofu and put cheese on top to make a simple baked dish. It was a midnight snack made with leftovers, but Iochi seemed to enjoy it. It's delicious. I knew you were amazing, Sena. I'm glad I asked you. And that, like, you kind of got that too because you heard like a click or something. Like you turned it off and he's like, oh, did you hear that? And you're like, hear what? And he's like, oh, I'm a little hungry. And it's like... Iochi's smile was so bright that it made me smile too. Who would you like a bite? Say, ah. Uh. Huh? Uh, I opened my mouth by reflex. I thought about how I'd often share food with my younger sisters, but that I'd rarely ever received anything myself. It was the same spoon that Iochi was using, but maybe they didn't mind. I felt a little embarrassed, but still ate it, the whole indirect kiss thing. Oh. It was hot. I forgot it was freshly baked. Iochi also seemed to have forgotten and apologized while handing me some tea. Sorry, I should have let it cool down first. Here, I have some cold tea. Right. I took it and washed it down. Chilled tea helped a lot, and the pain didn't linger that long. It's kind of funny, because he's like, oh, I'm trying to be a little sultry in this moment. And you're like, oh, my fucking mouth is burning. He's like, well, I fucked that up. <laughs> but it's shit like this. It's like cute little fluffy moments. I don't mind that in my drama games, but there's more of this than there is the tension in the drama. You know what I'm saying? So... The embarrassment of sharing the spoon was gone, and I just sighed in relief as we looked at each other. 
I'm really sorry. I didn't think it was that hot. I'd better try to make it up to you. There's no need for that. It was just a little hot. I was exaggerating. No, I just want to apologize. I'm so sorry. For many things. That expression was so serious that I didn't know how to respond. Oh, right. And there is another piece of data I wanted to show you. I'll eat this up quick, so hold on. Oh, sure. Take your time. Although I said that, once Iochi was done and we started looking at the data, I began to feel drowsy. Maybe it was because I ate something warm. It was difficult to resist my sleepiness. Like, this girl's got narcolepsy. She falls asleep all the fucking time. Like, how many times are we going to have to have him be like, don't fall asleep around strange men? You know what I mean? Like, how many times are we going to have to go through this? But, like, she's always like, clunking. Like, I think you need to get yourself checked when you get back home, girl. Sorry, I know we're still talking, but I'm a bit sleepy. I'm going back to my room. Oh, good, she didn't fall asleep. Oh, really? Well, it's only a little longer. Can you stay awake for this last part? It'll be done soon, and then you're going to yell at me for falling asleep around you. But I was so drowsy, I couldn't even talk straight. Despite that, Iochi wouldn't let me leave and held on to my arm. And why are we constantly falling asleep around you? Are you drugging our food? We're the one who made it. How'd you do that? <laughs> like, <laughs> like... I was thinking of checking a, dif a different piece of data, but this portion... Can't... Yochi just told me yesterday, too. Feel... See, again! How are you, like... It's like, okay, you're a little tired and stuff, and if you lay down on a couch... How are you, like, no, all of a sudden I'm... I'm just... I think you have narcolepsy! You just fall asleep way too fast! My eyelids drooped, and I suddenly fell asleep. It was as if I just passed out. I mean, this sounds like a problem! As someone who blacks out randomly... Okay, again, it's been, like, a year since that happened. Okay, not quite. It was January, and it's, like, now November as this is going up. But, you know what I mean? So it's been, like... Was it January the last time? Probably, like, ten months? Whatever. But still! Yeah, you can't help that, but it's different. I'm not just like, oh, I'm slowly tired. It's all of a sudden I'm sitting here talking, and then the next thing my ass is on the floor. I don't understand that, but you that's a problem. This is not, that's normal. No, that's an indicative of a problem. Still have no idea what my problem is, but like, whatever. But like, you, and the fact that you're always like, yeah, so I ate food and I'm oh, sleepy. You have something wrong with you. I'm now wondering, like, does everyone have something wrong with them? Do they know that there's something wrong? Like, we have narcolepsy, which is, like, minor compared to, like, why Iochi was, like, weird about going back home, remember? And it's like, are, do we all have, like, some kind of, like, illnesses? And that's why we're here? Because it's like, well, we might as well use the sick people. Like, do we all have some kind of terminal illness? Is this a way to kill off cancer patients or some shit? Like, is there some kind of, like fucked up weirdness happening here because like why do we keep falling asleep why is this a thing why like and is it only in yochi's route that this is going to be a problem because you're using this shtick a little too much for it to just be like oh we just want so that yochi can harp on you falling asleep around strange you know what i mean because it's like we've already been through this twice we didn't need it a third time you know what i'm saying like what is happening here are they just recycling the same old bullshit? Or is this, like, indicative of, like, you have a problem and that's part of the plot? You know? Iochi was drugging me the whole time. Like, that's scary and weird. You know, like, they're pumping weird things in that I'm like, you know what I mean? Like, is it part of the plot? Or are they just, are the writers just really bad? Where they just keep rehashing the same shit? All I'm asking. Like, my eyelids drooped and I suddenly fell asleep. It was as if I just passed out. I don't remember what happened after that. We're gonna get that same fucking lecture and it's like we're in a goddamn Groundhog's Day. The world seemed to rock back and forth and in the next instant... I heard the sound of a door and I opened my eyes, revealing a pretty face, sharp eyes and long eyelashes, straight nose. I thought about how beautiful that face was and I jumped up awake. Oh... You know, I'm not going to complain about Iochi carrying us to bed CGs, but you know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to get that lecture again. And like, okay, if they wanted this to happen so we could get this cute little CG, fine. 
but we didn't have to fall asleep around Iochi like six times beforehand. They could have done it like once and then done that. You know what I mean? Like, what? I Iochi? Oh, are you awake? I thought you were completely asleep. I'm awake now. I'm completely awake. I'm sure I'm heavy. Please put me down. <laughs> I no need to panic. You don't have to worry about a thing. If I let you go, you'll fall. I looked around for something to grab onto while Iochi just laughed joyfully as they looked at me. I was taken to my bed soon after. It was the first time I'd been carried like that. No, you the first time you've been aware. And it was more surprising that it was by Iochi. That would be impossible for most women to do, right? What does that mean? <laughs> Talk about them harping on the same things. They keep but that at least is a plot point. Sorta is like the like, oh well, Iochi, mysterious. You know what I mean? That I don't mind, but it's the constantly falling asleep around Iochi and having to go through this lecture is like, seriously though? Be more embarrassing if Iochi were a man. It took me too long to come up with those ideas, and I was gently laid down onto my bed. Iochi's hair gently brushed against my cheek, and it made my heart race even more. Shall I remove your shoes, princess? I can take them off myself! It's embarrassing when, it's embarrassing when you liken me to Sleeping Beauty and, um... Yes. Sorry I fell asleep. You just warned me about it yesterday and the day before that. Hmm? Oh. I sat on my bed while removing my shoes. When I looked up, Iochi was looking right at me. Iochi? If we had met back in the original world, I wonder what we would have talked about. Would we talk like this? Seems kind of sudden. I want to talk with you in the same way. Someone as smart and kind as you? I've never met anyone that's... That's almost ideal. I'd like to meet someone like that, too. But I only do things I know I can do. You can call me a realist. I've long thrown away my ideals. I'm envious of those who still have beautiful ideals. You must see yourself a bit differently than I do, then, Iochi. Yes, unfortunately. Unfortunate? But I... I hesitated in choosing my words, and Iochi's kind smile returned. Oh, no. I forgot that you were sleepy. I'll get out of here now. Oh. I thought I had to say something, but the words wouldn't come out. I wonder, too, if it's like we're having like a very, like, you know, we normally have lighthearted kind of things. Iochi will get a little serious and flirty sometimes. But, like, now we're about to say something that feels maybe a little more poignant and heavy. Not like, oh, you're a bad person, but, like, more, like, nice and sweet, like, considerate. But it's, you know what I mean? It's still, like, sometimes when you're complimenting people... It's a heavier moment. Not like, oh man, I love that dress. It's awesome. But it's like, no, you know what? To me, star in the sky. You know, like, you know what I mean? It's a little more of a thick moment. And I wonder if Iochi was getting that sense and was like, oh, anyway, gotta go. Because like, they're not prepared for that kind of a moment from us, you know? Hmm. Iochi's going away. I started feeling nervous, and before I realized it, I grabbed onto Iochi's shirt. I was just thinking, grab. I froze up, realizing what I had done, and Iochi just turned around, perplexed. Oh, s sorry. Um, nothing. After my response, there was a short pause, followed by Iochi gently touching my forehead. You need to get some rest. We'll see you again tomorrow. First, I thought Iochi had only touched me with their hand, but when I had felt something soft on my forehead, their face was closer. Did you just forehead kiss me? But she kissed me on the forehead. <gasps> so romantic. I curled up and buried my face in my hands. A sense of shame that I had held back in the presence of Iochi suddenly came rushing forth. I was princess carried to bed and then kissed on the forehead. I could understand where that'd be slightly embarrassing, but it would be like, I'm embarrassed, but also giggle a little, okay? Because that makes me want to squee inside. I didn't mind, but what about Iochi? Does Iochi always do that? Or could Iochi be a woman who would easily do that to someone of the same sex? Like your mom, you know? <laughs> uh, either way, uh... I crawled into bed, unsure if I'd fall asleep, but dawn arrived much faster than I'd expected. I like how we're fighting because we're like, I'm kind of turned on by Iochi, but like, maybe it's just because Iochi's like my mom and, you know, it's not romantic, but fuck, I don't know what I'm feeling here. 
sleepy. You're always sleepy, girl. You better gotta get to a fucking doctor. I wonder... I mean, like, the bangles can control shit. Like, is the bangle making you sleepy? It's like... Are you being controlled to, like, pump, like, oh, I'm really sleepy all of a sudden. So that you can't, like... You know what I mean? Like, are the producer and the sponsor and the director ever, like, putting you in awkward situations like this? Like, Yochi being like, don't fall asleep around like there's a house full of like men who are wolves remember don't do that and then it's like then we keep doing it <laughs> like because someone's over there like <laughs> let's make her fall asleep all the time it'll be great wait 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 she's around Yochi and he's like yeah 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 <laughs> Yochi said they were gonna do this so he <laughs> and our mastermind's over here like being a shady bastard like let's put her to sleep in front of the Yochi it'll be great Seriously? Like, then at least that would tie the constant sleepiness into the fucking plot and be like, what the shit? That'd be kind of amazing. Otherwise, it's just lazy writing. You know? Like, oh, we gotta keep rehashing the same thing. I plopped lifelessly on the sofa. Again, having him... Sorry. Having them mention it once. Having Yochi mention it once. Because it happened. And then we fall asleep in front of Yochi, like, now, so we get the whole bridal carry back to the bed. Fine. But, like, it's just the fact that they've mentioned it, like, so many times and it just keeps happening. It's like, we have any other, like, relationship development aside from this? Aside from I'm narcoleptic, apparently? Like, it just seems weird. I popped lifelessly on the sofa. Ig was reading a book next to me, and I heard Ibana and Yochi cleaning up in the kitchen after the lunch we'd had. Sis sick. No, I just didn't sleep well. So you're sleepy? Don't you go to bed? Sleeping in the middle of the day would make me feel guilty. It's okay to take naps, girl. It just means that I'd feel bad about it. Let's see. Also, I think a 12-year-old would know what the fucking word guilty means. You know what I mean? Like, he, th he's too sus. What about you, Haiji? What are you reading? It's called Hateful. Do you know it? I do. Not a very fun story, though. How far are you? I read it all. The picture books like these have lessons to teach, right? I was wondering what that might be in the book's case. Nice. They are studying like a grade schooler. Ochi. We'd already seen each other a few times since the morning, so I didn't feel as embarrassed as yesterday. I still couldn't lock eyes with them. Yochi, on the other hand, didn't seem to mind one bit. They took the picture, bu picture book that Haiji was holding. Old fairy tales can be cruel. So many of them have been greatly altered, but that just isn't the case for this book. Maybe it's not censored because it was printed before the age of electronic paper. Probably. Hansel and Gretel were a brother and sister who were abandoned by their parents. Maybe that has something to do with Haiji's story. And... Why he's kind of like clings to us a little as the big sister. Maybe his parents abandoned him and his sister to be, you know, either when the when Morpheus crashed into the moon base or they were like, ha ha, here, you can have our kids as science experiments. I'm if he's not an alien and he's a science experiment, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, we threw out a bunch of different theories. There's, It's a theory bubble. There's a bunch of fucking things bouncing around in there, and one of them will eventually pop it, and that'll be the truth. Probably not one that I've thrown out there. It'll be something completely different, but, like, you know, seems similar. So. They dropped pieces of bread to find their way back home from the middle of the forest, but they became lost when birds ate the bread. And because of that, they wandered in the forest and arrived at a house made of candy. Inside that house lived a man-eating witch. That's pretty shit. The brother was gonna so the sister pushed the witch into the stove to kill her. He lived happily ever after. You cut a lot out, but that's the gist of things. It's a sad story. The siblings were abandoned by their parents because they had no food in the first place. Oh, no, it's Yochi, sorry. Is it really a sad story if it had a happy ending? The jewels they took from the witch made them rich. I don't think they'll have trouble with them anymore. Okay, but they were still abandoned, and I also think it's a bit cruel to murder the witch. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. How 
is anyone this goddamn fucking goody two shoes? It's not nice to murder the person that was trying to kill you. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go with like if you can avoid that, yeah, that'd be great. But if someone's coming after me and my only option is let them hack me to pieces or shove their ass into a fireplace, I'm shoving their ass into a fireplace, you know what I'm saying? In this case, it was a stove, but I'm just saying, you know, like. No, I don't want to kill another person, but there are dire circumstances where, like, what were the kids to do? Just, oh, well, I guess we'll get eaten. You know what I mean? Like, I, 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 I get the point of do whatever you can to not murder someone, because, like, hi, yeah, great, got that. But, you know, uh, also maybe don't eat someone's fucking house if you don't want them to eat you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the whole point of, like, everybody in the story is kind of bad, because Hansel and Gretel went and ate her house. So, like, rude, property damage, you assholes. You have to be penalized for that. I don't think cooking and eating them is a proper penalty for property damage, but also, your house is made of candy to lure children in so you can eat them, so, like, kind of cyclical here, where it's like, everybody kind of sucks. This is everyone sucks in the am I the asshole thread, okay? The entire family would have starved otherwise. I mean, I suppose you can't defend sacrificing your children. That. As for the witch, both siblings would have been killed and eaten if Gretel didn't kill her. And there wasn't much of a choice. See, Yochi's the smart one here. I suppose so. We're like, no, oh, but I think everyone should hug it out. Like, girl, sometimes it doesn't happen. Look, I get wanting to live in a perfect world where people aren't assholes and we can all get along. I get it. But, like, that ain't reality. So, like, don't be naive. I think the lesson the story is trying to teach is that sometimes enough sacrifices are necessary. Achieving something great requires sacrifice. So, sometimes you have to throw away what's dear to you. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> The moral of the story is telling, yes, but not your children. <laughs> There's a moral, but the process of getting to that moral is a little fucked up, don't you think? I see. I think big sis. Me? Well, I think... I could feel Iochi and, Hi and Haiji staring at me, but I couldn't come up with a good answer. Just, I don't agree that sacrifices are ever necessary. Again, that is such a... I don't want to say stupid. It's not stupid to have ideals and, like, wish that that was the case. But it is kind of fucking naive and stupid to think... I don't think sacrifices are ever necessary. You shouldn't ever have to sacrifice anything. No, you shouldn't boot out your kids and ditch them in the woods. That's... I get that. But, like, every single fucking human being is always going to have to make a sacrifice at least at one point in their life that is the fucking reality of the world and like what kind of goddamn gumdrop fairy tale land are you living in that like you can't like and i you know what i'm mad at her but i think it's the writer sucking here like not sacrifices aren't ever necessary it's the i feel like yeah i kind of agree and like sacrifices do have to be made sometimes but i think there's a better way to do it than sacrificing your children. You know? Like, but to be like, sacrifices aren't ever necessary. You should never have to. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Like, stop. Like, oh, God. I wish they didn't write her like such a dumb fuck because now she's getting dumber as we go. And it's like, you know, she go find one of the other boys to date because this girl's too fucking stupid. Like, no. So fucking naive and stupid. And childish. Like, I would expect that to come out of Haiji's mouth because he doesn't fucking know any better. Well, okay, I think he does. But, like, he's pretended not to, you know? But for our age, it's not, it's, oh, you're cute and adorable. We're talking like a six-year-old who has no concept of the world where you're like, yeah, keep that childlike wonder because reality sucks. And again, it's one thing to be like, I don't think people should ever have to sacrifice their children in order to survive. Yeah, I'm with you. But, like, sacrifices don't ever have to be made is so fucking naive and stupid. That is such a stupid thing to say. Like, this... 
It's, oh my god. And it's it's the writers trying to kind of give her a point, but not getting it, not actually making it clear to say, like, I think certain sacrifices shouldn't have to be valid. But that's the phrasing. I don't think you should have to make certain sacrifices in life. And I wish we lived in a world where you didn't have to make huge sacrifices like that. That's what you say. Not They don't ever have to be made as if people are choosing to sacrifice things because they just don't know any better and you're better than them. Like, no, that's a stupid thing to say. Oh, God, I want to yeet her into the sun now. You know what? I hope you get a punishment game and you die and just everybody else in the game runs away on their own because like, no, Jesus Christ. I'd say you're up there for the dumbest main character. I don't hate her that much, but like she says shit like this and I want to yeet her into the sun. Seriously. Oz Mafia's MC was the dumbest fucking thing ever. Oh my god, okay! Really fucking stupid. We are just naive, and like, I think the writers are just idiots. And like, we're trying to give her a valid point, but just did it in a stupid way. You know what I'm gonna try to believe? So I don't hate her for the rest of the gameplay, because we're only in the first fucking route, and we got eight more to go. After a short silence, Iochi sat down next to me, it seemed the debate would continue. And also the fact that, like, if someone said that, you wouldn't be like, that's so adorable, I want to date you. You'd be like, well, you really are too fucking naive and childlike, and maybe I should reconsider as being an adult man wanting to date a 16-year-old girl who thinks like an 8-year-old. That's creepy. That's not helping. And then what should have been done? What would you do as the parents? Well, what about if you were Gretel? See? And then Iochi's like, think about this. If you choose not to abandon your kids, all four of you will starve. And do you let Hansel get eaten by the witch and find a way to survive alone? I was given difficult choices. It was a mean way for Yochi to put it. No, because he's trying to make you use your goddamn critical thinking skills with a fucking brain that whatever deity you want to pray to fucking gave you. I don't want to sacrifice anyone or let them die, but I still don't know what to do. See, that's valid. I don't want to sacrifice anyone. I don't think... And that's the point I think they were trying to get to, but fucking phrase it right. Be like, I don't think sa the sacrifices that were being made in this book are ones that we should ever have to do. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with sacrificing my children. I, 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 I think she's stupid for thinking the witch didn't need to die. Like, come on. Come on. But fine, you're a little goody two-shoes. But the no sacrifices ever. I know I shouldn't be annoyed with it because it's obviously just the writers or the translators making a shitty choice there instead of making it like this. I don't want to sacrifice anyone. That's that's very human and valid. And I think most people don't want to sacrifice people. You know? The reality is, is sometimes that happens and we're glad that we're not the ones that have to make that fucking decision because that sounds like that sounds like it sucks. Find a way for everyone to survive, and if possible, I want to avoid murdering the witch. Maybe she was hungry too, or she could have just been fucking evil. Now I think you're getting a little naive, but like, all right, I want everyone to survive, including the evil witch. I mean, I mean, I'll give her a point. Maybe there was a reason why the witch was evil. Maybe she's not really evil, and what you think of as evil, other people might think of you. You know what I mean? Like, but. Not the moral of the story here, but sure. Okay. They were my words, but I looked at the floor because I wasn't confident about what I'd said. Would there ever be choices that convenient? No. Maybe she pulled my chin up so that I'd look up again. If you want to say cool things like that, look me in the eyes. Yes, straight on, just like that. Uh, um... It'd be nice if things could happen the way you want. I'll be sure to keep it in mind if there's ever a choice like that, too. My chin was held tightly, and I couldn't look away, so I backed away in confusion. And again, I guess we were trying to get to this cute moment. And it would have worked fine, again, if they had just maybe not made her say that in such a stupid fucking way. I don't really want... I want to find a way where everyone survives and we don't have to sacrifice anyone. Like the trolley problem, right? I don't want to run over four people I don't know or one person I do know. I want to find a way where I don't have to do that. You know what I mean? Like, is that the option you have? No, but like, I can understand you being like, I want to find a way where we don't kill anyone. 
valid. But like to say that you, no one should ever make sacrifices don't have to be made ever. Stupid, stupid statement. Like, I guess what they were trying to get was the like sacrificing someone's life doesn't have to be made. But again, fucking make that clear because otherwise you trigger me and I'm mad and I'm still mad about it, despite the fact that I have worked out like that's what they meant. But it still makes me mad. I need a drink. <laughs> Yochi's smile grew even more gentle. Maybe I touched you too much. Um, it's not that I don't like it. It's just a bit embarrassing. <laughs> I hope you don't regret saying that. More question. Chi, do you prefer the big brother or younger sister? Hmm? Why are you talking about gender? That's part of it. I was wondering what you like more. Are you asking if I prefer to be Hansel, who waited for his sister to save him, or if I'd rather be Gretel, who killed the witch for her brother? Yes, that one. Uh, the one who would have to be sacrificed chose to sacrifice. I don't think we should have this conversation with Haiji, and I really, really don't like where this conversation is leading right now based on this game. Like, would you prefer to be the one in the cage or the one that kills the witch? And I feel like this is a setup so at the end, depending on Iochi's choice, that's the position we're going to be in. Well, if it's between those two, I don't like to wait, so I'd be the little sister. Good, because you know if in, when, when they lock me in a cage and you have to kill someone in order to free me, you'll definitely make that choice and I'll just sit there crying and everyone will die. Well, I mean, I guess that's all or nothing. <laughs> oh. See, see, I don't... I don't like this. If this fucking, if there is a scenario at the end where we're trapped and freaking Iochi has to sacrifice someone to save us and do that, like, one, sh we have already stated, we don't think anybody should have to ever be sacrificed and blah, 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 whatever. So if that has to happen, one, that makes Haiji super motherfucking sus. Come on, a break, right? But two, that's really concerning because how would we continue a romance with Iochi after he just did something that we don't think anyone should ever have to do? Unless she's like, oh, yeah, okay, I see how stupid it was saying that because in this scenario, there was no way around it. Fine, but like, you know, that's going to mentally break us. And you know, I'm, and I don't know. I don't know if I like where this is going. Haiji, in your case, which would you choose? rather be the little birds that eat the bread. I could fly then, too. I thought it was going to be like, I'll be the witch. <laughs> You're right. And then maybe I'd want to be a bird, too. <laughs> started laughing, too. The tense atmosphere lightened up and we closed the picture book. Oh, God. If possible, I don't want to see cruel stories. I keep comparing it to my own situation. Sacrificing someone for yourself is too... The long conversation made me forget about things for a while. But that sound reminded me. It was time for the other world stream. I looked at my bangle and saw the usual drama details. Yeah, I just don't like that setup and that question that Haiji had and like, whew. Stream status. Drama starts in three minutes. Oh. Stream content. Younger girlfriend. Episode 11. Genre. Romance drama. Um, wasn't that the one the younger girlfriend was like me and Iochi were in that? Yeah. Cast, Kurata, Mizuki Yochi, Serena, Spacey Sena. Yochi also checked the details and looked at me. Oh my god, there's going to be a kiss in here, isn't there? Because it was a romance drama, there'd be many moments with body contact. I felt like the drama would be bad for my heart. I, I actually kind of like now what they're doing here with like the, like, oh, now we're kind of in this character's route. And now we're going to have romance dramas with them to kind of just like amp up the tension between us. I like that. I do like that. Uh-oh. The story gets elaborate. Will you be okay with this, Sena? Huh? I I'm fine. Like I said earlier, it's not that I dislike it. So you're just embarrassed. Well, if you don't mind, let's do it. You're my younger girlfriend, after all. Oof. You're gonna put Iochi in that suit. Ugh. I like it. Oh. We're staying in the living room. 
Cardona called out Serena called out Serena in anger because she had completely taken him for granted. <gasps> oh, right, that's the drama. He's like, I'll make you love me. Serena tried to resist as usual, but Karana didn't back off either. The relationship took a turn for the worse. Like, she used him, and then he's like, fuck you, I'm gonna make you love me. And she's like, I'll never love you! Like, I'm seeing the characters. It's like, like, we didn't change stages because the conversation was supposed to take place in the living room. But it became darker outside the window, and Haiji, who was on the sofa, vanished. And Iochi, who was in front of me, wore a suit. I love Iochi in a suit! Look at it! Beautiful! No. It starts with Serena trying to leave after the fight. I rushed toward the exit, but my hand was grabbed. Ugh. Stop. I turned around and saw Yochi's face, pressed up close, before I was pushed against the wall. Oh. You know, I feel like Yochi's getting a little too into this, and I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining because I'm grinning. <laughs> I keep telling you, you're my girlfriend, so prioritize me. And that's the rule. I don't care. You made that rule up yourself. And then you want me to break the rules, too? You want me to tell your parents everything? Please, no. And then obey me. And that's why we have a contract to be lovers. Feels like I'm being yelled at for real. Yochi's acting always changes in tone depending on the roles. Maybe that's why... I knew it was a line from a drama, but it felt like the words were directed at me. It's not so you can yell at me like this! Huh. Yochi peered at my face as I couldn't escape. They were waiting for my next move. I'm supposed to cry here, but I can't do that easily. I tried to hunch over to make myself look smaller, and with my one free hand, I covered my face and pretended to cry. You called me your girlfriend! Why do you keep saying things like that? All you have to do is put some cry in your voice. <laughs> Even if you're not really crying, just sob a little. <laughs> if you'd have asked, I would have told you why. I do want to prioritize you, Karada. I just like being over dramatic when we're reading these lines. Really? Why do I have to lie to you? I truly. Seeing my act, Yochi then smiled and took another step closer. They wrapped their hands around my waist, then pulled me close. <gasps> Then Iochi kissed me on the neck. Oh my. And we get a nice CG right in his face. Right in his face. Hitting a okay, but you know what? He pinned me to the wall. I know it's only in the fake drama, but now I get a CG of me being pinned to the wall. You know I like this shit. So, like, game. You're not helping. You're not hurting. You're doing a great job. But, like, this. I mean, obviously, like, overall, like... Yeah, okay, things are messy. But, like, moments like this, I'm here for. So, like, what whatevs. I was lifted up and my legs felt weak. Yochi's hand felt warm as our fingers intertwined. You can kind of see that, too. They weren't holding on to me roughly, but I couldn't escape. And I could feel Yochi's breath on my neck as they continued to kiss it. <laughs> and then I want proof. A proof of love that I can trust. The lines were exactly on script. Stage directions then called for Karada to hug Serena. This is... Didn't expect this. Uh, um. I suddenly stopped my act and tried to move away, but those passionate kisses on my neck continued. See, I think it was like in the beginning with Tomose, like, yeah, this kiss was in the script, but he enjoyed doing that. You know, he was like, cool, I'm just going to read the script, but these are my feelings, kind of, so good enough. And like, Iochi now is like ad-libbing. I mean, reading the lines, but now the kisses and everything are like ad-libbing and... They are enjoying it, you know. No. Mm, don't run away. I will educate you until you learn. And this is how I love. Even if you cry or scream. And this is the only way I know how to love. But depending on your attitude, I might change my mind. If you'll show me proof, that is. Proof? Yes, proof. Have you ever sacrificed someone just like in the picture books? I was confused, so I looked at the script. At the, at the script. Wow, I said script. <laughs> the line was improvised. I, my brain was broken because I'm like, there is no way that was written in there. I am prepared to sacrifice one to save a hundred. Even if that may be my own lover. Even if it were someone I truly love. Even still, I could do it. Are you threatening to sacrifice me to save everyone? That... 
is not how I thought this was going to go. What about you? Will you throw me away for the sake of a hundred? If you can't do that, then... And then show me proof. Proof. I was still thrown off from Miyochi's improvisation, but I followed the script. I don't know what you're talking about. Can't I just say I want to be with you? I want to be with you even more than you ever will. You just don't notice. Oh, really? Are you sure? Why do I have to say this? I just... I just wanted to know your feelings. I can't believe you until I have proof. In other words, I love you. I'm sorry I raised my voice at you. Yochi's whisper was terribly gentle. My body felt numb in the places I was touched, and it was so soft that it was dizzying. I'm not Serena, and Yochi isn't Kurata either. I knew that was all an act, but it felt like we truly were in love. Hope we got some good points. Back. Thanks. Though it feels a bit odd since we didn't really go anywhere. Yes. Welcome back. Oh, yeah. My heart was pounding and my body felt hot. I pretended to be calm so that no one would notice, but I couldn't tell how good a job I was doing. Yeah, no, thanks. <laughs> Panting, sweating, blushing. No, we're not doing a great job. Um, who are we talking about again? I think we were done with the picture book. Ah, we were talking about snacks. No, she's acting normal. The kiss and those lines were improvised, but they were so natural. I wonder if they'll ever hesitate. I tried to remember the improvisations inserted in between, but I was so nervous that I was only able to remember bits and pieces of it. Sacrifice one for the sake of a hundred? As I thought about that, I noticed Ibana coming from the kitchen and Akaze from upstairs. That's not Ibana. <laughs> anyway. What was that? I felt so embarrassed just watching it. Two. Uh, but it was really good. I'm sure you got a lot of points from it. And not really. It seems I need to work on my acting more. If you go any further, I won't be able to look at the screen straight. And don't watch. This is stupid. I thought you wouldn't be watching. Shut up! I don't watch romance dramas! But he watched. Um, is the information gathering team going out now? Yep. Once the discussion ends, we're heading out. See you later. Yeah, I'm sure this is always tough on you. But good luck. I'll be off too. The three of them left, and the noisy lodging fell silent. They cheered me up. You're talking about snacks. I'm craving ice cream again. Just eat as much as you want. It takes up too much space, and I need more space in the freezer. Why did you get over 20? Well, Ibana, you actually counted. Then I'll go start preparing dinner. Huh? Already? Isn't that a bit early? What are you making? I felt uncomfortable being there, so I ran into the kitchen. <laughs> I just need to cut vegetables! Okay, we're almost at time, so I'm just gonna stop here because it's the perfect transition, but, like, I'm really curious about... Like, I mean, obviously, okay, like, Iochi ad-libbing and kissing our neck and stuff. Like, okay, sexy, fine, whatever. You know, you're getting into the act, adding a little flair to it, but also probably doing that because you wanted to and you could get away with it. Shady, but I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'll accept it. Um, But I'm curious about those lines, they, about the picture book thing, and it's like... Because they're basically saying they would sacrifice us to save everyone type of a thing. And it's like, that's not exactly where I would hope our route goes here. Like, I mean, okay, listen. I know there are other games that exist. Shu and Noverche, which we're getting I the end of this year, the beginning of next year, whatever, when that comes out, that's a very dark and traumatized. There's not really happy endings, but like, the way this one's kind of portrayed right now, I mean, I and I don't really know. I know there's one ending for each. I don't know if they're technically happy endings, but I assumed because, to be fair, having a very dramatic or, like, 
Yochi sacrifices us ending type of a thing. The drama and the kind of angst in that is like, it doesn't really fit with the way this game is. Like, again, it goes back to my earlier point that like, they're trying to put a lot of drama and tension, but they just don't do it well with the like, fluffy cutesy. Like, it's not a good balance. Um, And for a game that should have a little more drama and tension, it's a little fluffier than it should be. You know what I mean? So then to have an ending that's angsty like that is like, I mean, even in happy games where there's a little bit of stuff like this, having a bad ending where we die or something, sure, I can handle that. But like, Iochi's ending being angsty and not a happy, fluffy ending with the way the game has been, it's like, that's so out of fucking left field. Because again, you're not good at building the tension here to make me feel like the ending's going to be angsty and oh no. You know? Like, you've done a really bad job and that would come out of left field and I would be very surprised by that because not how the whole game has been you know for a game that's again supposed to be have some tension there really isn't a lot of it so endings i feel like have to be kind of fluffy the way most of the game has been so far kind of you know i think it's weird but anyway um yeah so we'll continue yochi's route next time so i will see you next time remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.